Um, I'm here today to provide an update regarding activity that's occurred this week in relation to Operation Eclipse. Yesterday, over 100 police from Serious Organised Crime Branch, Major Crime Investigation Branch, Financial Crime and Cyber Crime Investigation Branch, Public Protection Branch, Northern District, Southern District, Eastern District and Western District, with the support of Consumer and Business Services, conducted searches on 17 retail outlets yesterday, being tobacconists, gift and candy stores and a delicatessen, and one residential premises. Of those tobacco stores, one was a licensed retailer. The searches were conducted for two purposes. The first was to support consumer and business services who have responsibility for the compliance and regulation around tobacco in South Australia. And the second was in some instances we're investigating serious criminal offending, namely arson, money laundering and offences of violence. Illicit tobacco was located at every store that we attended yesterday and we arrested a 24-year-old man from Parafield Gardens. At one location, he was charged with money laundering and he'll appear in the Christie's Beach Magistrates Court on the 20th of December. We seized 484 cartons of cigarettes, 58 boxes of cigarettes, 2,745 packets of cigarettes, 347 pouches of cigarette, of cigarette or, sorry, say it again, 347 pouches of tobacco, 16 kilos of loose tobacco, 7,100 tobacco tubes, vapes and nearly $20,000 cash. The estimated uh, value of the tobacco products that seized, were seized yesterday is $250,000. Um, SAPO will continue to have a whole of organisation response to disrupt the criminal activity that's occurring around these illicit tobacco stores. Importantly, we'll target and look at their financial operations and the criminal activity that they're undertaking. I remind those that are involved in this that we'll pursue any criminal charges that we have the opportunity to where sufficient evidence exists and that will include those that are supporting or enabling this criminal activity. We're seeking knowledge of any persons that have uh, knowledge of persons that are dealing in illicit tobacco, have information as to where illicit tobacco may st be stored or any persons that may be enabling activity to further their criminal activity, uh, whether that be the arsons, their financial operations and or offences of violence. And I'll ask anyone with information, please call Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. I'll now take any questions. If you're actually making progress, I know there's still a lot of um, seizures going on, a lot of arrests still going on, if you feel like you're making progress with your investigation? Yeah, it's, it's clear to us we now have a really good understanding of the networks that are operating within South Australia. and. Uh, we're fully aware that we need to maintain the pressure, but uh, activities such as yesterday and recent seizures is certainly disrupting what's occurring in the state. 100 police officers were part of the raid. I guess how big was yesterday's effort? Yeah, um, 100 is a lot of, 100 police is a lot of resources. That just shows the commitment that SAPOL has got to ensuring that these offences of violence and arsons don't continue. And obviously we can reassure the public that we're committed to ensuring the public safety. And Previously, the commissioner said that he was concerned that there are, might escalate. All these raids, do you think he might actually prevent it from getting so bad as we've seen in Victoria? Yeah, our, obviously our first and most important role is to ensure public safety and um, disruptive activity like yesterday is certainly um, there to suppress the activity that's occurring in the state. And um, we're confident if we continue that we can make this an extremely hostile environment for which these, you know, syndicates are operating in. What happens with these stores after raids like yesterday? Can they continue or what, what are the actions from police to make sure they don't continue just supplying these products? Yeah, so as I said, um, we worked with Consumer and Business Services yesterday um, and we'll deal with them and speak to them as to what we can do and how they can actually further impact those retail outlets. Do they have the business? Can they actually shut them down, or is that something that's not possible? We're not available to them. Yeah, currently, um, consumer and business services have certain powers, but I won't speak to the powers that they have currently. And you mentioned trying to track down where more of these products are being stored. So essentially, these stores could continue to be supplied from larger storage areas. Yeah, absolutely. And we're fully aware, if you look at some of the seizures we've had in trucks and out of Paraka in recent weeks, um, that illicit tobacco is being stored 
And as I said, I ask the public if they're aware of those locations, please, co please contact us. That may be a landlord, it may be a neighbour, um, so that we can take positive action to remove that from the marketplace. How many more storage areas are you aware of? I won't say how many we're aware of at this stage. How many more? We've got, as I said, we've got a very good understanding of how these syndicates are operating in South Australia. And um, as we become aware of locations, and or have information, we'll progress those investigations as required. Due to the charges that we've seen so far for assembling arrest, money laundering, blackmail, serious criminal trespass, arson, among those charges, what, what can you tell the public about what's going on here? Obviously, it's a fairly serious uh, criminal syndicate that is behind it. Yeah, um, we've, we've made it quite clear that um, these syndicates are trying to get a market share of the illicit tobacco trade in South Australia. and. Um, Obviously, Operation Eclipse was established to prevent that further violence that's occurring to enable them to get that market share. And um, I just say to the public, be confident. Uh, we're actually taking control of what's occurring and we're committing the resources to ensure we can continue to disrupt the activity. Will you expect raids soon on these storage locations? Um, <coughs> we, as we go forward, um, investigations are continuing. I'm confident that we will search further premises and I'm confident there will be further arrests for some of the offending that's already been reviewed. Last questions. What about the products um, when they're entering the state? What's being done at that point? Yeah, so as you're aware, we've stopped a number of light trucks in recent weeks coming into South Australia and there's a clear focus from the South Australian Police on the transit routes into South Australia. Um, and as we continue to detect those vehicles come in, they will be stopped, they will be searched, and if, uh, those, if we can prove that they're committing criminal offences at the time, those people will be charged. Have any further um, vehicles, have any further vehicles been pulled up in the past week? No, they haven't. In terms of, um, I guess, the public perception, some people would say, it's just tobacco. Um, this is not an illicit substance. Um, and they're, they're, I guess there can be, I guess, a, a dealing with the public, this is not as important as, say, the illicit drug trade. What do you say to those people? Yeah, it, it's clear that the people that are entering this market are doing it for profit. There is a large amount of profit and a large amount of money to be made, and they're being driven by that. Unfortunately, with that money comes the violence, which we've seen, and that's why SAPOL's now involved, and we've established eclipse to prevent further violence in South Australia. Now that you're aware of how the network um, do you feel like going closer to making some more arrests of key players involved? Yeah, um, <clears throat> we've stated all the way along um, the investigation or the operation has been going a short time. We're confident some of these investigations are complex, but I'm confident we will bring them to a conclusion. Thank you.